This is Eric Mwadi with Mwadi.com. This is going to be part two of a video I did about two days ago. So watch part one if you can before watching this one so it can make sense. I'm going to just go straight since it's part two to what we were looking at two days ago. Okay, let's go here. You can see BTC trading at 60,504. All right, let's go to the four hourly charts. So on the four hourly, the same line I had drawn for BTC on its four hour, which is the top side RSI line, continues to be in play. We can see that over the last two days, markets come to this area, tagged it twice. And then we have this break point here, which gave us a pullback. And now we are essentially coming back to test that area. More importantly, as a carry on from the previous video, what we are discussing here also has to do mainly with where the RSI is trading. And we can see that these resistances that we are seeing here on the blue and the red line continue to be around the 61.8 threshold. Just take a look at Litecoin. Just want to point out here that it is also moving and essentially trading at 52 week highs. And there's a slight, very slight, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's very meaningful, but there's a slight negative divergence. Higher prices, a little bit of a decline on the RSI. We can also see if we go to this previous break. Based on the uniformity method, my own researched method. And we draw a line from there. We can see that we've been, over time, this has been where swing trades to the downside for those who trade in the small time frame have been taking place so all of this have led to shallow pullbacks and we've tied this almost three four times over the last two days but the main chart in this video is just like the previous video which was part one is ethereum and we can see here essentially trading at all time highs today above 2200, 2200. And we can see here clear divergence of the RSI making lower highs as prices have recorded fresh all time intraday highs. So that negative divergence is an issue. More importantly, is where the RSI stalled. We can see that for sure the RSI stalled when trying to move above 61.8. And for all of these charts, remember, we're looking at the four hourly RSI setting of 26. So if you watch part one, we know that if 61.8 continues to be a problem, it is suggestive that the next meaningful direction for the cryptos and for Ethereum especially is to the downside. Otherwise, there's a way to fix this, which is the prices need to move higher so that the RSI can break above the currently declining resistance line. So if we can do that, move above this negative divergence line. Also, if we can move above 61.8 on the four hourly, then that would add pressure to the upside and we can have an accelerated move to the upside. Right now, based on what I see, based on the resistance on the red line, it seems to me what this is suggestive is that the next meaningful direction, as long as resistance continues here, is to the downside. Remember in the last video, we were talking about this area here. And since then, we haven't really cleared that area. We've come back, in fact, and confirmed resistance. We'll see how it goes, but it seems to me that the stage is set for a meaningful pullback. Maybe we've already seen major highs that were recorded this weekend. We shall see. And remember, if there's going to be a sharp pullback, it's going to be very aggressive and nasty to the downside. So, be it. Eric Moabi with Love light. Light love. Namaste.